people have bugs in their kitchen, they call an exterminator. When our next guest has bugs in his kitchen, he grabs a spatula. Don't ask. <laughs> Please welcome to the Joy Spot the author of the Eat a Bug Cookbook, David George Gordon. And also back with us is Jerry Springer. Okay. Yeah. Good to meet you. You know, whether you know it or not, you're already eating lots of bugs. And that's because there are bugs in some of our everyday foods. Things like tomato ketchup. Do you ever wonder why this band is here? No. Well, when they process ketchup, sometimes all the gunk, including the bugs, rises up to the surface and it looks unsightly. So someone said, we'll put a band on there and it'll look fine. The first person will get the glop and everything will be cool. Oh, that's, that's true. Not. It's a fact. We have this peanut butter sandwich here because <laughs> someone calculated using the Food and Drug Administration's guidelines, it's okay if there is many as 57 bug parts in one peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What kind of bug is in there? <laughs> well, things that get in there by accident. Cockroaches, uh, fruit flies, all that good stuff. Where do you normally eat? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wh well, what did you concoct for us? Yeah, these are all recipes from my Eat a Bug cookbook. Mm -hmm, and here we have grasshopper kebabs. Okay. Here's one for you, a little property. <laughs> and Jerry, you hold this one. I'll uh, load it up for you. Skewer a grasshopper. Grasshoppers are actually six times more protein rich than lean ground beef. In fact, in Mexico, they're consi I can't help myself. They're considered a delicacy. Oh. Okay. Mm. All right. Let's, go. Let's do the next one. What do you got? All right. Here we have a uh, problem with scorpion <laughs> scallopini. <laughs> Why do you need protein from a bug when you can get it from a nice steak? Well, in some countries... Just because you don't like cows. In some countries, <laughs> the cultures are, are more oriented around eating things like grasshoppers or scorpions. Uh -huh. Scorpions actually have medicinal value in some cultures. They're considered a great delicacy. These actually were collected for me from a guy in the Sonoran Desert, and they actually taste like crab. The recipe that I use is very similar to soft-shell crab. I think you get crabs from this. There you go. Try it. <laughs> well, eat it. I feel eat rude. It, eat it, eat I feel it. rude eating in front of your audience without offering them some. But a little scorpion tail. Okay. Delicious. All right. Not to worry, Martha Stewart. Next. All right. What's this? Ugh. This is a handsome one. If you live in a household where people are always fighting over the drumsticks at Thanksgiving, you got 54 drumsticks on your average centipede. So that's pretty good too. I'm gonna take a pass because I'm still working on my mouthful here. But no, 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 no. You have oh, to eat it. Oh, okay. That. All right. <laughs> you have to eat it. Oh, yeah. Very big delicacy in okay. South America. Okay, what's... All righty. Okay, let's go. Hard to not swallow here. Okay, in here we have a warm cricket salad. Mm, and crickets yummy. are really good. They're, uh, they have, they're loaded with calcium. If you're worried about your fingernails breaking or osteoporosis, eat more crickets, I say. Wait, before you eat uh -oh. this, let me just take a moment here. Nice. You know, in, in crickets, there are, a cup full of crickets are only 250 calories and just six grams of fat. So Weight Watcher approved. Perfect. Uh -huh. Oh, and you know why? Because it turns you into bulimia. That's a bulimic. No. Listen, Jerry, would you eat this? No. Not this one, because I sprayed it with rain. Yeah, I try to stay away from the I bug spray in yeah. my food. Okay, no, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll wait for the I next would, one. But <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yes. Well, the you're one. prepared. Okay. All right, in here we have Chang Bai ants in a stir fry. <laughs> You know, in China, ants are actually sold also for medicinal purposes. They say they're, uh, they slow the aging process. And Jerry, this is good for you. Take a bite. Come on. Increase I sexual on. vigor. Jerry, 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 Come on. Come on. I would. Oh, well, here. Wait, go ahead. No, I, All right. I would, Wait. but... I would, but... Oh, it's Passover. <laughs> <laughs> There's no yeast in there. That's right. right. I'm trying to cut okay, down. Okay, dessert. dessert. <laughs> Yeah, and for dessert, and for dessert, my personal favorite, these are white chocolate and wax worm cookies. My oh. daughter and I were up late baking these the other night. Do I See, that looks like a real uh, chocolate chip. That's scary. Or now, don't I qualify guy. for a nanny on this job? Oh, 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 you know what? I want one of the girls to taste these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're all going like this. No, here, here. Wait, Scott, wait a minute. Scott is going to do it. You know, we come on, an octopus. No, I had my cockroach for breakfast. You did. I'll do it. All right, come on, hurry up. I was eyeballing the fried one. Oh, there you go. There you go. Nice. All right, Lisa. Adventurous eater. That's great. Thank you. Is it good? That's 
right. Charlie didn't want me to put bacon on it, right, baby? Okay. Thanks okay. to Jerry Springer and David George Gordon. For right. more Thank information you. or to buy David's book, check out our website. When we come back, a young woman who's taking the boxing world by storm, Layla Ali.